shocking things in my time on the force, but that pier, that's the kind of thing that makes you lose your faith in humanity. I gotta say, it's the second worst thing I've ever seen. Poor bastard down there is torn in two. By the looks of it, you think someone tied him to two horses and raced them in opposite directions. What could you have possibly seen that was worse than what's down there? It was about three years ago. Shark fight? No, I haven't seen shark fights. This was something different. Whatever you know that was doing. Was busy. Was busy. And there were these huge slashes, but. Bullshit! No, no. The guy was literally slashed to ribbons. Worst part was. Up there, through that chain link gate and up those stairs. Those men you are looking for. Never mind, you wouldn't understand. Evening. It's n n nothing. N n n n no, I, I have a sp speech problem. S s sorry. Um, uh, uh, do you know who the head vampire is? If the head vampire dies, we all become human again, right? Oh. But, um, how about blood transfusions? If I get a full blood transfusion, I can become human again, right? What? Oh, no. There, there's nothing I can do? But how? I don't want this. I want to be human again. Nothing. Disregard what I say. I don't know what I'm saying. Forget what I say. Fortune is not your destiny. All of us are unfortunate. Every time I sleep, the future plays out before me. I know the ending. It will end over and over until I cease to dream. I know your questions. For one hundred dollars, I'll tell you what you don't want to hear. I need money to leave this place. Then ask again. The Crimson Sheep. He's not who he says she is, and is going to burn. Dinosaurs? 
He's furious. The man at the crest. The voice in the darkness. Boss. Chinese brothers. Follow the lights to the end of the tunnel. Where do you want to go? Hmm. The man on the couch. The lone wolf. All others tread carefully. Many. Everywhere. Some with swords, some with smiles. But I pity them. You are a remarkable foe. Those with a lot to say usually have something on their mind. There are many unique individuals around the city. It's almost as if they're waiting for you to ask the right thing. E, for example. I see the future, not the past. Don't open it. Listen, it's like I've told you types about a thousand times now. We know we can't hunt round here, all right? We're minding our own business. No reason to hassle the weaklings. They should try up there, through that chain link gate. A couple of real nasty looking bloods come out there a couple of times a night. You mean you ain't here to run us off? We're getting pretty sick of it. Someone citing domain, or in the worst case, is hunting us for sport. Dunno. We all seem to have come down with the same disease. Oh, who am I kidding? We're a bad horror show, alright? We seem to be the runts. The mistakes. You types call us thin bloods. I say we're all equally screwed. <laughs> I'm down if I know. Well, I know you don't want to be one. You seem to be in the loop. You tell me. Clan. See, I've heard all that before. And, and I still don't know what the hell anyone's talking about. I'd like to know just what I've become. We'd all like to know just, just what the... The hell kind of devil's contract we've apparently signed? i just come to town for the surf tourney. Seems like years ago, but it's, well, been about six months now. Every night during the finals, I used to hit the local diner after the beach parties fizzled out in the AM. That's where I met her. She had a natural beauty. Not like all the plastic dolls littering the sand. Her name was Lily. I remember introducing myself, the way she seemed grateful for the company. Well, a few nights after our meeting, we were on the beach alone. She tried to tell me what she was, but I didn't understand. And so she showed me. I was furious with her when I took it all in. I cursed her and left, never really knowing what I was. I realise now how she must have felt. So here I am now, a mystery to myself. That's what Lily tried to tell me. But what I don't understand are the rules, and the terms, and the reasons some of them are at our throats claiming we're harbingers of the apocalypse. That's what I want to know. Clinically, yes. But honestly, I don't know. I suppose I'd have moved on by now if I didn't think she'd show up one of these nights. There's a lot I've got left to say to her. Aye, most of them just recently arrived in LA. Got chased off by the Sabbath or some such thing from their home cities. More in the dark than I am. They're a good bunch, but well, I've been through a lot. It's affected them. Well, I hope you had better luck than I did. No one's been particularly friendly to me in this city. The only reason we're in Santa Monica is because we haven't been chased out yet. Evening. I, I, I don't know. Uh, talk, talk to E. Uh, guy, guy without a shirt. Yeah. Okay, you can go on in. 
And if you really want to make my night, go ahead and start some shit in there, because I would love it.
You next up for the needle? Hmm? Your donation could save a life, you know. Oh, but isn't it a little late for altruism? I don't think you're here to give blood at all. I don't buy it, Jack. I bet you're here to take blood. Am I right? Right down to business. None of this pretend I don't drink blood shit. Very refreshing to find a decisive customer. I respect that. So, what'll it be? If you have to ask... Five. Thank you. 
Dr. Bessman spell the operator? Dr. Bessman spell the operator? I'm sorry, sir, but you're going to have to wait outside like everyone else. No exceptions. Get out of here. Can't you see I'm with a patient? trying to blackmail me? You don't know who my wife is. She wouldn't believe you. Now get out! Wait now. What do you want? Deal. But I'm in the middle of something. I'll have to drop it off later. Now never speak to me about that again. Uh, uh, please! Get a doctor. <laughs> ah, my insides. It hurts so bad. Please, wait your turn and you'll be seen. All right, go on back.
Need some for the pal? Oh man, wait! Say that again! Oh man, you! You're a vampire, aren't you? Those sons of bitches. Good. Great. Hope it was painful. Did you get my money back? Ah, oh, you're a lifesaver. I might have to buy some new kidneys with this. That astrolite? Twice as powerful as TNT. Instant demolition. Be on the other side of the world when you engage that timer. You need to make some place disappear. A warehouse. Looks to be a Sabat interest. I heard a lot about that operation. Well, I'd love to get in there, get my hands on the equipment they've been unloading. But it'd be suicide to walk in there. Got a small army of trigger-happy types, and they're all packing. I don't know, maybe, uh... Well, there's a guy. I never met him, but I heard a lot about him. His name is Tong. Bertram Tong. He's one of you types. If there's anyone who knows more than me about this city, it's him. Unfortunately, Tong's hiding out at the moment. Tongue's laying low because of Therese. Therese Vorman, you know her? Anyway, word is Therese and Tongue are feuding. I don't know the details. My takes that Tongue thinks he's about to get whacked, so he's gone underground till Therese calls it off. If you want to put that warehouse into orbit anytime soon, you're gonna have to get Therese to call off the feud. She's the woman around here. Power player. Nice looking broad for a dead chick, but uh, personality like stone. She and her sister, Jeanette, they run the asylum. Some freaky customers frequent that place. I try not to do business there. Therese... Therese I don't like, but I can respect her. Jeanette's different. I don't know what to make of her. She's a little, you know, in the head. 
I don't know. Therese is, well, like you. And I would think so's Jeanette. But I hear rumors about her. All right. Jeanette got a body built for bedrooms. And I got close acquaintances says they conquered that territory. But I asked the main man, and he says you types, you know, can't or don't or do that kind of thing. Anyway, whatever she is, I hear Jeanette's a wild girl. Who exactly? What's to tell? I can get anything anyone wants at any time. Could say it's my calling. Till the astrolite. Wasn't anything I couldn't handle. Well, back east some shit went down. Big Apple can't go back. I hate L.A., but what are you gonna do? Right, you're straight off the bus. Once a month I get fed vampire blood. Heals me faster, makes me stronger than a normal human. I don't age. By looking at me you wouldn't realize it, but I'm almost 60. Specifically? Guns? Guy named Trip up the street. He keeps a few pieces under the table, but he doesn't sell to anybody. Doesn't have a license. I'll give him a call, he'll sell to you. It's the least I can do. Who exactly? I don't know him myself. I'd like to meet the guy. Kind of a local legend. He and Therese seem to be contenders for this city. He's crafty. Smart guy. I haven't heard anything bad about him. Specifically? Who exactly? Oh, uh, hey, hey. Uh, how's it going? You, um, looking to buy or sell or... Now, oh, damn it, who told you that? All right, look, I can't have every Jesse and Jamie off the street, you know, coming in here and asking about this. It's not cool. I'm not exactly licensed, and these weapons aren't precisely legal. If you catch my drift here... Look, now, I appreciate your business, and I'll sell to you, but don't tell anyone else, okay? Keep your nose clean. All right. Come and take a look, then.
very little information right now, but have identified the vessel as the Elizabeth Dane. No word as of yet as to the whereabouts of the crew, though the Coast Guard are asking any ships that had contact with the Elizabeth Dane to assist them in their search. We'll have more on this story as it breaks. Several dead at a beach house in Santa Monica tonight. Police suspect the slayings were carried out during a drug deal gone bad. Residents of this quiet community were shocked by the killings, though neighbors suspected the men in the house to be involved in drug distribution and had seen many strange people going inside at all hours of the night. In other news, an apparent third victim of the Southland slasher has prompted the closing of the Santa Monica Pier, where the body was found earlier tonight. Investigators say the scene closely mirrors those of slayings in Glendale and Long Beach. In both cases, the bodies of the victims were described as torn apart, though details are being withheld from the public at this time. Police urge anyone with information relating to this case to contact them. Actor Ash Rivers is lucky to be alive after his car crashed. What do we have here? Another scrumptious young plaything straight out of life and into my club? Mmm, you smell new, little boy. Like fabric softener do on freshly mowed AstroTurf. I'm not frightening you, am I, duckling? I'm the finger down your spine when all the lights are out. And the name on all the men's room walls. When I pout, the whole world tries to make me smile. And everyone always wants to know who is that girl. I am Jeanette. And this bit of chaos crammed in a certifiable giggle is my club. I just love to give you funny feelings all night, sweetheart, but I really must trouble with some business. We'll reunite sweet and soon, I promise.
going to LA was going to be more exciting in Arizona. I didn't come all this way just to water down booze. Right. Goodbye. Not stuck up this. Oh, God. I can't even look at you sometimes. Jezebel. Oh, Therese, you really do paint a flattering portrait of me with your turn of the century bard. I always assumed you could do nothing but look down on me. Just the sight of you. The sight of that wicked painted house concealing that dirty, diseased mind. Sin. You have no sin. <laughs> Let's see who is without sin past the fierce tone. Go ahead and mock me. You pull your pranks, make fun of my ways. It's just you. You're just one yeah. Don't you call me that. Should I start calling a jack of tears again? Your sister. How can you treat me like this? Oh, man. Run away from the truth. I'll take care of everything, as always. Please, come in. I do apologize for my sister's crassness if it made you uncomfortable. She's unabashedly scandalous, but in the club business, I suppose that kind of personality is a necessary evil. Nonsense. She's nothing but. Therese Vorman, yes. I'm the proprietor of this club, and the only person in this city whose good side it's in your best interest to stay on. What brings you to Santa Monica? <laughs> You're new to this, aren't you? Were you trying to dominate me just now? That was so stupid it was almost cute. Almost. Tongue's exile is self-imposed, I assure you. But then, what reason would I have not to hate that loathsome Nosferatu scoundrel? Bloody Nosferatu. They're so... unclean. He meddles in my affairs. He's a bad influence on my sister and she on him. If you were in my place, would you let him compromise your authority? You most certainly would not. I'd quite like it if I never had to hear that name again. Why would I do that? Let him think I mean to kill him. That way I don't have to worry about him sabotaging everything. Do you realize how his subterfuge makes me look to the Camarilla? I'm not sure the Camarilla would find that an acceptable method of dealing with one's rival. And right now, I very much need their approval to become officially recognized as the legitimate administrator of this city. Tung and his co-conspirators' actions ruined my chance at partnership in a crucial piece of property. I do have several other promising ventures, and one in particular has been, to say the least, an ordeal. Hmm. I'd be willing to put the word out that my grievances with Tung have been swept under the rug, but in return, you'll have to help me remove a particularly burdensome spirit from a property I'm looking to invest in. I forgot. You're still new to this. Allow me to break you in. Yes, ghosts exist. Werewolves, mummies, and I'd expect a whole lot of other things I've never seen share the night with us. Rumor is that a personal item of a ghost may be used to draw it out or excise it from its haunt. While I don't put a lot of stock in hearsay, it's my last option. So I want you to go to the Ocean House Hotel, find an item of the spirits, and bring it back. If you have to tear the building apart, do so. Three construction crews have already refused to go back to work because they've been... spooked, so to speak. You don't. They're perfectly harmless. Oh, I fully intend to do so. You'll find that dealing with me on the whole is appreciably more predictable than dealing with some of the egomaniacs that are my peers. So long as our business doesn't go sour, my word is gold.
Before I forget, take this. The only way to reach the ocean house this time of night is through a tunnel in the sewers. You'll need that key to open the gate for that tunnel. If you'll excuse me, I've got situations to set straight. chill. Something I can help you with. I guess. I don't see how that's any business of yours. Goodbye, then. What'll it be? 
Are you the health inspector? You know, at least the last health inspector had the decency to make it clear when he was asking for a bribe. Here's 50 bucks. I get to live the dream for another exciting month. Yay. What'll it be? Is that a trick question? Hmm, let me think. Oh yeah, about four dozen a week. Pale girls. Huh, like the Fitzsimmons albino. Yeah, she hasn't been in here in ages. No, no, I have never seen that. What'll it be? Slipped into something comfortable. I know I have. If you're new to town or just new to this whole radio thing, welcome to Kilpatrick 24 Hour Bail Bonds. My name's Arthur Kilpatrick. How can I help you? Guaranteed. Well, looks like the boards are lighting up. I read a popular one. Sure, pal. What is it? Yeah, they're saying there was a murder down by the pier, just like the one the other day down in Long Beach. Just vicious. Tore them up. They're saying it's a serial killer. Vigo? So... Well, typically when things like this happen, the cops ratchet up the patrols and start hauling in more suspicious types. Could be good for me. Sure, pal. What is it? Bail bonding? What do you want to know? What brand of yacht do you have? Of course, goes with the business. Then you sick the bounty hunter on him. You betcha. I used to do some bounty hunting myself back in the day. Takes a solid set of brass balls to make a good bounty hunter, I'll tell you that much. Hello, caller. Yep, damn good. His name's Carson, and he's great at what he does when he wants to do it. I can't seem to find him now, though. He's pissing me off, to be honest. I need him to go find someone. Well, I don't feel right cutting Carson loose just yet. We go way back. I knew his father, too. Tell you what, since I'm stuck here, why don't you go look for him? Just real quick. I'll pay you for your time. Great, great. I suppose the first place you should look is his apartment in Santa Monica Suites. Apartment 1, I think it is. Maybe you'll find something there to let you know where he's got himself to. Here's a key card. that lets you in. Sure, pal. What is it?
they? The corruption of the soul is pandemic! There is no hiding a true face to the judge of soul! Redemption cannot be lost!
weeks ago, but he never seemed to show up. <laughs> Do you know when he'll return? You are? Isn't that a coincidence? Why are you looking for him? Oh, <laughs> I, I see. I'd be delighted to. Why don't you come down to my office and we'll talk about it? I'm at the end of Main Street, small basement studio. The sign says Gimbal's Prosthetics. Just ring the buzzer and I'll let you in. Hello! Welcome to Gimbal's Prosthetics and Medical Supplies. You're here about the missing Mr. McGee, am I right? Oh, yes, forgive me. My name is Gimbal. Stanley Gimbal. But, oh, dear, let us dispense with formalities. You can call me Stan. Hmm? Oh, oh, right, right. Mr. McGee. Well, as I told you, he was supposed to show up a few days ago for a photography session. Reference for my work, that kind of thing. No, he didn't. Earlier, I had asked him to take a few pictures of himself for my perusal. A sort of, um, resume, you might say. And that was the last I'd heard of him. Carson? No. I don't think so, anyway. Oh, oh, look! I know I've got some information on Mr. McGee back in my files. Do you want me to try and dig it up? Don't mention it. Just wait here a moment, and I'll be right along. Oh, you have such beautiful arms. I absolutely must have them. Get me out of here, man. This guy's a freaking nut job. Who, Gimbal? 
Yeah, Gimbal. That guy's been taking pieces off of me and McGee over here for the last three days. He's crazy, man. Freaking crazy. Hey, stop right there. Thanks, man. You're a lifesaver. I wasn't sure I was gonna make it. I'm telling you, I've been on some weird cases, but this one takes the cake. Yeah, yeah, that's me. How did you know? He did? Oh, man, that's solid. I owe that guy big. I hope I can figure out a way to get him back for this. What? Oh, no, man. No, no, no. Not for me anymore. Look at my hand. Gimbal took my trigger finger for a trophy. I'm all through with this business. I hate to leave Arthur in a lurch, but that's just the way it is. Thanks again. Don't worry, I'll take care of old Stumpy here. What's shaking? What? Ain't coming back? What do you mean he ain't coming back? Man, that's a tough one. Bounty hunter ain't no good without his trigger finger. Well, hell, that really leaves me in hot water, boy. Gonna cost old Arthur real good. I got this guy with a sheet a mile long, put in on three warrants. His girlfriend put up for the bond, and now he missed the court date. I can't get in touch with either of them. Want a job? Well, it won't be much of a job since you ain't licensed and all, but until I can get me another bounty hunter, I need you to find out if this guy skipped town or what. Yeah, no body attachment or nothing. Just find out if he's here or where he went. I'll pay you. Deal? Great, great, all right. The guy's name is Mike Durbin. Goes by the name Muddy. His girlfriend put up for his bond. She lives over there above Tripp's pawn shop. Her name is Marion Murrieta, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her. Well, he was brought up on manslaughter charges years back, but he got acquitted. Since then, he's been in and out for this and that. Small-time stuff, mostly. Most recently, he was brought in as part of a big case on stolen auto parts. It's this big chop shop thing that's going on in Santa Monica. Been in the paper. That's right. Mary Ann Murrieta, in them crappy places above the pawn shop. Find out where the hell money is, where is he going, whatever. But be careful. You're not licensed, and if anything bad goes down, I don't know you. You hear me? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry about that. Uh, here you are.
All right, come back when you got some info. Thanks in advance. <laughs>